Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is RBG and today we are racing in the Manufacturer Series Round 2. Uh, so last week we had our first race in the Manufacturer Series uh, for Aston Martin and we were driving in the DBR9. Um, this time we are in the GT4 cars, so we are in the Vantage, the V8 Vantage GT4 car for Aston Martin. As we're just about to go to the qualifying here, uh, just like normal, we're not going to watch the whole a 10 minutes worth of qualifying just the fastest lap that was set and we'll see where that puts us on the grid as we just boot up now to get ready to take our qualifying lap so um as you can see uh picked up my first sponsorship um you can see now we're driving the uh driving for team uh, domestos um i'm proud to be part of them quite honestly as we come down now into the famous turn one of Monza which can um, be the death of you if you don't take it properly I don't probably don't take the probably perfect line through that um, I do something a bit weird which is like I know when I've seen the like the best way to get through that is to slightly accelerate in between the chicane and brake on the second apex but I just sort of just to keep myself consistent I just uh, I coasted it through that section so I knew there was a little bit of time I could have grabbed from there if I worked on that a little bit more um, so this is actually my second race of today as we come through the second chicane here um, this is actually my second attempt at this race for today the first attempt um, did not go well at all qualification went pretty well I actually run a really really good lap on qualification and managed to come into fifth um, but literally first lap span out on like the second corner and try to catch up and span out again and then for the first time ever, I rage quit um, on GT Sport, which I was a little bit disappointed at myself, but I just, you know what, I couldn't face uh, another 19, 19 uh, a lapse of being half a minute well behind everyone else. It's just unbearable, so I quit, and then I went and did this race instead. So you can see here, um, we'd set some best as a 201.2, which is quite a way behind my best pace. Um, the best I've run in my practice sessions is a one a 59 flat um, I managed to run so as we come around now to the final turn of the qualifying lap and let's see how we do and what time we come through as we come through this last corner which I've worked out if you get down to about between 75 and 80 and accelerate when you get to the second lamp post you get around this turn really nicely with a, a bunch of speed to catch up to people I don't know how many people had worked out sort of you could accelerate really early on that turn so you we finished there with a two minute point five um again a little bit disappointed at that i know i could do better um and i get a little bit frustrated that it's, as it seems like qualification is really starting to let me down um in terms of uh, these races and stuff but now we uh go into the entry a cinematic for the a manufacturer's race and let's see where we fall in the grid when that comes up And there's our trophy, which again appears to be looks like the exact same trophy, whether it's the manufacturers or the nations. Uh, here we go, round two, and let's see where we line up on the grid with our two minutes 0.5. And let's see where the fast runners are and how we could have done. So 158.2 there from uh, pole position. In the Jag. Then you got the Audi with a 158.9 from Dinos. And then you got a Swiss uh, with a 159.6. So if I'd run my better times, I could have sort of got into like third place on the grid. Um, 159.6 from the Russian. Fellow Britain, the Aston there with a 159.6. And now we're breaking the two minute mark. Uh, the Nissan here with a two minutes point three. Uh, eighth position with an Audi, a two minute point four, and here comes myself. Ninth position is where we're starting from, an Aston Martin, two minutes point five, in the uh, Domestos sponsored Aston Martin. So let's see how we got on in the race and whether we could do better. So basically, in round one, uh, I come in ninth place for 24 points, I believe. So my basic aim in this race was to try and come better. 
uh, finish in a better place than ninth. So, you know, in qualification, in terms of, like I said, a little bit disappointed by where I qualified, but in terms of where I'm aiming to get for this race, I'm in the right place. As we get started now, and we've got already a bit of a slipstream on this Audi here, as we sit in its slipstream, but we want to be careful not giving them a bump. I don't know if we're going for an overtake here. Might be able to get an overtake as we hit our braking, but we've come really bad there and we've had to slip off track to avoid contact and end up making contact anyway. And how are we going to fare here? We made a little contact there, but we're safe. And we actually, he come out with the penalty there. I don't know if that's strictly fair. I don't know uh, whether that was fair or not, but we've come out in 10th position. So we actually come out a place behind, but with that one second penalty in front of us, um, we should be able to reclaim our position in ninth as we come up now to the second chicane of the race. And let's see if we can take this one a bit better than our first turn. Drifted, missed the apex a little bit there. Uh, we made a, had a little bit of contact from, I believe it was a Hurricane, uh, a Lambo just behind us, the Britain Lambo. Uh, must have sort of tried to ease past me there, but uh, mustn't have had the space and made a bit of contact as we come round now into this turn here and oh we've spat out there a terrible spin out right on like you know four turn four turn sorry turn five of the lap and we are dead last this is awful i think i want to have a another look at that so we we're coming through uh coming down this way and let's just see what happened here because it's really weird i understand if my wheels come off the track, I would have lost grip. You can see me accelerating there, full acceleration as we're coming out. And quite honestly, I don't know why I lost grip there. Um, I'm a little confused, quite honestly. I've made that turn a hundred times. I didn't overrun the curb or anything like that. It just seemed to completely lose grip. So now we've got a race in front of us uh, from dead last. Um, wasn't feeling particularly positive at this point. Uh, but we've got a yellow flag already uh, from someone in Fife, so we can uh, claim a spot from someone crashing out for themselves and move up one place position into 18th. So I don't know what our aim is here. Our aim is just try and climb up as much with the pack and get as close to 9th as we can. Um, but not a, really not a good start here. Um, although we have, we do know now that at least the people in front of us, we should, in theory, ha have the pace on them in terms of our race speed as we number 17 gets really gets a really poor exit speed there and now we sit behind the Ford uh, the Britain the Ford in 16th as we are making gains by the looks of it but we just want to be aware that our braking is not gonna smash us into the back of him I've noticed with this Aston Martin as he spins out there trying it looks like he might have been trying to avoid contact with another car or might have just lost control himself but we've got through and claimed another position now move up to 16th and now we're chasing BMW, uh, a BMW, German in, in the BMW in front of us as we now come into lap two of our 20 lap race. So this lap, uh, this race is going to require a pit at some point. Um, we've probably got the tyres to see through, but uh, we, we don't have enough fuel to see the end of the race. As I look on the inside now, and I take him on the inside, but a bad line and miss the apex and means that he can get to the second as uh, an Audi in place 16th has dropped out. And now we push up to 15th in the race as we now come up to the chicane where I span out last time. Again, still a little bit confused about why I span out on that turn. You know, hit that curbstone there and just completely span out. You know, the guy behind me in the Ford <laughs> come out much further than me and uh, didn't seem to spin out. So yeah, I'm, I'm still a little confused about what happened on that spin out, but not much we can do about it now other than try and concentrate and chase down this pack in front of us, the 14th for 30. This 14th got really terrible through there. Um, he's, squeeze the gap so we've had to go a little bit off track there but we've kept it well together and now we come through to this bit here which is lovely if you get this right because you can just go flat out throughout this whole section and hit this exit quite nicely as we've got number 15 just behind us here might be sitting in our slipstream um, and might be able to take take us if he gets a better turn uh, around here which we look like we're handling all right, uh, but he's still sitting in that slipstream, but he might be going a bit too aggressive as we now push through to finish lap two in 14th place. So we've clawed up from 19th to 14th, climbed up, climbed up five places uh, through people making mistakes in front of us. And another five places to climb if we want to get up to where we were as we come into lap three now. 
So just coming into turn one, making sure we get this right. As he looks on the inside, but there's absolutely no space there whatsoever. Um, as I make contact, I don't know if it was him making contact or me making contact, but there was absolutely no space there at all. Um, yeah, let's have another look at that one. You know, if you're going to make an attack on somebody, you need, you know, you need the... You need to be in the right place. Um, now, whether it was a tackle, whether or not he just his breaking, he actually broke at the right point. His breaking was much more uh, laboured than mine, and so he re really probably should have gone on the outside there to make sure he wasn't making contact. Because really, I had no other uh, else to go other than the side of him. But uh, he got himself a one-second penalty for his trouble. See, this is what I you see the difference there is that turn. I noticed that I wouldn't be able to get on the inside of him without making contact, so I pulled out of the overtake and decided not to go ahead of it and gosh i don't need to because he's got himself a one second penalty so which is about to be hit and as, as long as i can keep myself in a relatively decent range then i've got a nice easy overtake to uh reclaim 14th uh which was you know it wasn't uh, quite honestly wasn't the dirtiest move he did like try and quite get on the inside and maybe not so much intentional as we now go past him into 14th and 12th is looking quite vulnerable he's dropped on the 13th the swiss and the aldi are we going to get past in time for the turn, yeah, we've just knocked in front and claimed another position, so we've now gone up to 13th. As we're looking actually really close to this Porsche, who's taken a really poor line through here, so can we claim another position just on this exit? Because we know we've got the exit speed here. If we can sit in that slipstream, pick up a little speed, we've got this nice long straight. Uh, we've got a Scirocco in front of us here that might be causing problems because it's going slower than the car overtaken. Uh, there's going to be a little gap appearing, we're going to see if we can get into it. Yeah, we've got in that gap. Can we defend that position without doing anything too stupid? We've taken that really well. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. That we, you know, had that little, uh, you know, gap that we needed to thread, which we managed to. And looks like we might be able to take the Scirocco here as we get a little bit of a better exit speed. Looks like we're neck and neck. Got a three second penalty in front of us there. So there might be another place we can climb. So we've already got, you know, we're in lap four. We've got ourselves up to 11th place already. Um, it's not a bad... Uh, a comeback considering quite honestly I was looking at this thinking god the best I can hope for is sort of 15th 16th but we've got a lot of race left we've still got 16 laps left to go um, and looking quite a positive that we might be able to claw back uh, ninth position we've just got two more cars to overtake and one of those cars like I said has a free uh, a second penalty lingering over their head which is a, a very sizable penalty one that I'll easily be able to get past him if that's coming anytime soon which we are coming up to the penalty marker and Scirocco's looking to come past me there again just just trying to bully his way past no real technique you know that's not real put that turn is not real a place to overtake you know you you either are beaten before you get to the turn um but you're not trying to overtake people whilst you're turning there because it's just you know it's not a place to do it as we now come down still chasing this BMW which we've been chasing this BMW through the pack as now the McLaren in 10th gets a penalty and now we screen past him and now we've reclaimed up to 10th 10th place as we're still chasing behind the BMW we've got another yellow flag in front of us are we going to be able to claim another position depends how bad the crash was no position claimed so far but this person's probably has a very bad exit so we've got a nice long straight here so we might even be able to claim another position as I look to take the attack here I've got him in the slipstream, and it looks like after a few laps of chasing this BMW, we might have him here as we now come down, and it looks like we've got him, and he's had to sit in behind us. As number seven runs really wide there, and we claim another position. So now we're actually up from where we started after spinning out the first lap and going down to last place. We've finally managed to reclaim uh, where we started and actually improved. So we're now up one position from where we started, running a 201 there, so our fastest lap so far, but quite honestly, still running a little slow. So we're going to skip forward now. We're in lap six, uh, chasing place a seventh position, which we've been play, uh, now chasing for a couple of laps since, since we were last here. As we come down to the last turn of turn six, we have got quite a nice gap between us and the Audi, um, the, the Spaniard and the Audi in front. So hopefully we can get a nice slipstream. Again, we can look for a nice clean overtake and climb another place. So we would have climbed two positions from where we qualified from. As I run my best lap, a two, uh, basically a two-minute flat. Still not breaking the two-minute marker, though, uh, getting to 159. So I've got the speed on here. I won't have the time to get on inside the intact. I have gone on the inside, but that's not with the intention of overtaking. It's just to making sure that if the braking didn't go quite right, I wasn't going to ram into the back of him. So 
Again, just making sure I'm clean as he gets a real bad exit on there, but I um, think he's got just enough to see him through. So I'm going to slip back again into the slipstream, see if I can get a bit of speed on him and perhaps get on the inside. Or even if I'm not getting on the inside, just at least put a bit of pressure on him and hopefully make him uh, force him into a mistake. As we look on the inside again, again, I don't think we're going to try overtake with not. We're just going to let him go through early on the brakes. And oh, a span off there. And, you know, um, I don't know if you want to call that a clean overtake, but it's kind of the intention sometimes is to literally just, you know, I had no intention of attacking through those past last two turns, but literally just trying to put him under pressure, uh, force him to make a mistake. And he spun off. And now we've managed to push up one more place into seventh as we now crush on through and see if now we can perhaps wind down this gap between us and uh, I want to say Ukrainian is that flag Ukraine in number seven uh, so we'll skip forward now to lap 13 uh, lap 13 you can see we've got some time deltas I've put on here we've got a good seven second gap on the person in front he's got on his and 11 second on the guy behind um, so the thought here is I haven't yet had a chance to pit uh, fuels just under half and I don't have enough fuel to see me through the end of the race so um, I believe this is, this is my pit strat here to come in on lap 13 change the tyres get a nice fresh set of tyres on and uh, take in just the tiniest bit of fuel because we don't need much we're just slightly under what we need we probably could make it through if we went quite lean on on the um, on the tire on on the fuel but I've got that 12 second gap behind me. I'm seeing if I can get in and out. We took on a, just a tiny, tiny bit of fuel just to see us through there. And we have still retained our gap five seconds or so. Just got to make sure we make this turn right and then hopefully should be able to retain our seventh position. But we've broke really, really awful breaking through there. Missed that completely. And are we going to lose our position? No, it seems like about one and a half seconds behind and still gaining on me but providing I don't do anything further um, to mess this up we should be able to retain seventh place and uh, we have truly uh, looks like from sixth position though we've got one hell of a gap to muster there we've got six laps, laps left and a 20 second gap between us and sixth um, so I don't think that's looking very likely for us to claim that but at least we can um, try and defend our seventh position which now uh, we've got ourselves down to a second. We've gained ourselves half a second through some of these turns. And let's just see if we can gain a little bit more and make sure we can pull away from uh, the Mercedes uh, behind us, the German in the Mercedes behind us. Uh, so we'll pull away, made a better turn there. So we almost pulled our gap away to two seconds. So it looks like we're slowly pulling away uh, from the chap behind us. So we have protected our position. So we're going to skip forward again to lap 17. You can still, we only, we only gained a few seconds on, on six, sort of four seconds we gained. As we uh, have lapped the chap in, uh, in position 17 there. You can see the Mercedes uh, sitting behind us. But that is a ghost car because it is uh, a lap behind. So we've got um, a 15 second gap on the ones behind. But we have just noticed that he's gone into pit. And that makes things a lot more interesting. I hadn't realised he needed a pit still. So let's see what gap is going to come out when he comes out of the pit stop. So he's coming out now with looks like around about an 8 second gap. He's going to have not much pace. So hopefully can pull that back a little bit you can see the time coming down now six seconds is the gap now between us and the chap in six so with three laps left on the race six seconds is quite an ask but at least you know oh, we almost span out there but managed to keep it under control uh, as we still got the chap six seconds behind us in eighth but you know six seconds uh, six happens over three laps is quite an ask especially when that guy's literally just put on a new set of tires for himself and you know sorted himself out However, we've given ourselves a chance to perhaps try and fight up and see if we can claim another position for the end of this race. So you can see there, lap time-wise, we've been hitting a race pace since we changed the tyres, roughly around the two-minute mark. We did break the 159 a bit earlier in the race. You can't see that on the right, but we did break it a bit earlier in the nice. Hit a 159.9, which, again, a little bit disappointed that I'm not able to hit that 159 flat like I was in the practice sessions I was doing. Uh, you can see that we've whittled down that gap a little bit now between us and six. It's sort of the lower end of six seconds. Uh, again, we're not gaining enough really to um, think about, you know, getting past him before the end of this race as we now about halfway through a lap 18 of this 20 lap race, which is one of those things, like I said, disappointed in my qualifying. Um, 
and disappointed in crashing out in the first lap, but to be able to come back and finish, you know, top half after all that is something I can't really complain about, and I'm not going to. Um, because we've been racing now for roughly 35 minutes for this race, quite a long run. Um, and, you know, to, uh, you can see on the lap times there, I actually had another slip out on lap 11. We slipped out on lap 11, and that's what caused such a massive gap between us and and the people in front. Um, but that, that that gap has been whittled down, but it just makes me wonder that perhaps if I pulled off a decent quality, or if I perhaps uh, didn't spin off on that first turn, we could have been challenging up by third, third and second place. I think the guy in first coming up your rear, um, he's setting a, a race pace that I probably would have struggled to keep up with, but certainly second and third would have been achievable um, without the uh, a lot of errors, obviously. So you can see now, you know, we are slowly whittling that down as we've now got two laps remaining, uh, a 5.9 seconds uh, time difference from us and the chap in front. Um, I have to admit as well, talking about Aston Martins, as we actually run a purple uh, uh, section there, so we actually run the fastest part of the lap um, in the race amongst all the races. So um, we definitely know we have the pace to challenge at the top end of, the, of this race. It's just unfortunately too many unforced errors. I mean, I say unforced errors. That first spin out, I'm, I'm still I call it hacks. So I it made me spin out when. I couldn't really see a reason why I did. So he's grabbed himself a penalty there. So we might be able to whittle this gap down a little bit. It looks like he had a one second penalty, which is really going to hurt him through the straight. You can see that time difference really hammering down. 2.8, 2.6, 2.4. This has suddenly got a lot more interesting. As we're now only 1.8 seconds behind. Sixth position. Where has that come from? As we make sure we don't go over the track limits there. We don't want to be hitting a penalty. He's got another penalty. That is a second penalty he's got. One second completely and we're 1.9 behind and it makes it really interesting because as you saw there you get a one second penalty it's not just the one second that you get hurt it's the entire straight afterwards which you lose you can lose a lot of time so we might be able to do something here um, quite honestly I thought we were quite settled on the seventh place um, but a bit of an error here from the I want to say Ukrainian I'm sorry if that flag is not Ukraine but uh, from the Ukrainian in front of us has given a glimmer of hope I believe he's an Aston Martin as well actually uh, so he's a, a fellow team man, uh, mate and Aston Martin as we come around now to finish off our final lap. We run our actual best lap of the race there, 159.8. Um, so it's really good that we're finding our pace now. Um, really starting to bear down on sixth place and show him down. As we now grind that gap down now to 1.6, you can tell I'm really pushing a 1.1. I'll push up again to 1.4. So we really are trying to push and make this gap as small as possible so when that penalty is incurred we can just get a nice easy overtake without having to worry about um, trying to find the opportunity to overtake uh, before the end of this lap. So the penalty is going to be incurred, uh, you've got to get past this chicane in the next two turns. As again we run the best section um, of the race in, across, all, across all the people on the track. So. You know, different circumstances and stuff. Perhaps could have, the, the the result of this race could have been much much more different. But we've got to work with what we've got in front of us. As now uh, his penalty is about to come in force after this turn, and let's see if we've got we've got a one second gap. We've made that gap perfect for us to overtake. So he's incurring that um, penalty now, and it looks like we're easily able to get past as he's lost his pace completely. And let's see if we can just make ourselves a nice comfortable gap so we don't have any threat of him trying to attack us through the last few turns of the race as we now get a one and a half second lead uh, on on the Aston Martin just behind us as we come down now to the penultimate straight of the race and we've got one last turn and it looks like for pride and we don't do anything really stupid on this final corner that we've secured a sixth position finish which again Look back on this race, man. We first lap, we were dead last, dead last. We have a bit of a gap as well, but um, we pulled it back and we climbed up to the grid, um, made a couple of clean overtakes. A lot of the overtakes have just been waiting for people to do something stupid. Um, and you can see now we finished with a two minute flat on our lap time there. So, you know, I'm satisfied with the outcome. I'm not, I, I feel disappointed that we didn't do better because I know if we'd run that race again with the same people and perhaps with a few different conditions you know we're looking at a top three top three top two a finish on that race but you know considering what happened this bad spin out bad quality 
um, to call that all back and come back and sit. I think we've got to be pretty. I think we've got to be pretty pleased with that. Let's let's be honest. So you can see there, best lap time of one fifty nine point eight, which amongst the grid is kind of a relatively good lap time. Not many people breaking that one fifty nine. About five or six in that top top pack breaking that one fifty nine uh, lap time. Now let's have a look and see this beautiful lap chart as we go right to the very start of the race and uh, we can see the progress as we made in the movement now we might not be able to see so you can see there we, we started and we dipped right out of view and we actually pulled it back there to eighth position and then moved up to seventh for most of the race you can see there through the final final half of the race we were in that and then in the last lap uh, that apparently really hurt him so these are the standings at the moment. You can see we are now third, or still are third, in the Derbyshire area. Um, we have 26 points, so that round, round two, is actually going to be the round that adds to the total. Uh, we actually did better in round one. It was only two points more, but it's still more. So 26 points is our final score for these first two rounds. And the driver points, you can see we actually took a decrease on the driver points, and that's purely because of my very poor first race and my rage quit, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. Uh, but we haven't had any impact on the mana points. We're still looking at the top of the SR range, but we're still fighting to get to our um, target of 10,000 driver points in order to break into the B class, um, which would be nice. But unfortunately, uh, we're not there yet. We've still got a few more races in order to work our way up there. Um, but hopefully, we'll be able to get there soon. But that is it for today's race. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back with the Next Nation race, which is taking place on Wednesday. So you should be uh, see a video on that coming out on sort of Thursday sort of time. But for now, I've been me. You've been you. I don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Cheers. Bye.